Good day, my dear panelists. I am Christian Angelo S. Aldala, a senior high school teacher to applicant of Bohol Division under the District of Corelia. May I present to you my lesson plan in creative writing? This is a specialized subject in Hume's Strand. So let's begin with my teaching demonstration. May I request everyone to please stand for the prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning, class. Please take your seat. May I request all column monitor to please check the attendance for those students who are absent and those students who are present. So is everybody present? So that's a good news. So thank you, class monitor or column monitor. Before going through to our formal discussion, let's um, witness or see this beautiful scenery, or yeah, beautiful scenery. So what, what are the ideas that you can formulate from this beautiful creation that is made by our Almighty Father? May I ask your aesthetic perspective, Eugene? So thank you, Eugene. So from seeing this uh, scenery, you can see to it that it is beautifully uh, crafted or made by our Almighty Father. You see the environment. The environment is so clean. the The sun is so wonderful. So that is so. Thanks God. Thanks to God that we have this gift of eyes to see this incredible creation. So I will present to you some passages or sentences and then I want you to feel, uh, to feel these sentences when I read this. So I, may I request everyone to please close your eyes and imagine the, imagine on what I am uttering. The television buzzed as it shut off, and the furnace sighed one last time before the house fell silent. Have you heard something? Second, cinnamon-scented candle. Do you smell something? Third, stick my toes in the warm and grainy sand. Have you felt something? Fourth, a heavenly hue to the layers of ice and snow accumulating on rooftops and tree limbs. Do you see something? From those two introductory activities that we've done or accomplished, our lesson for this day is about sensory experience in imaginative writing. So from those introductory activities that I, that I have set on you, what could be the definition of sensory experience? May I ask your thought, Eunice? So yeah, thank you, Eunice. So sensory experience is through using your senses, sense of sight, hearing, smelling, touching, you will understand the things that you've, that you've encountered in this life. Here are the learning objectives that you must accomplish at the end of the lesson. Explain sensory details. Second, identify the importance of sensory details in creative writing. Then, lastly, exercise the use of sensory details in writing. So let's define sensory imagery. So sensory imagery is a literary device writers employ to engage a reader's mind on multiple levels. Sensory imagery explores the five human senses, the sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. Then, sensory imagery involves the use of descriptive language to create mental images. In literary terms, sensory imagery is a type of imagery. The difference is that sensory imagery works by engaging a reader's 
five senses. Any description of sensory experience in writing can be considered sensory imagery. So based from the given definition, so let me ask you this. So what is it that in creative writing, sensory imagery is important? Why do you need to apply this in writing? May I ask your thought, Gabriel? So yeah, that's a fantastic idea of yours, Gabriel. So it is really significant and vital that you need to apply this in writing so that you will describe your setting, your character, when you will write a particular literary text in a vivid manner. So through sensory details, it will allow your readers to experience on what you have written. Uh, it's just like uh, sensory details will is an avenue for your readers to go within your imagination. So let's look at sensory details in action. So compare the following two passages describing a trip to the grocery. So here is the first passage without sensory details. So I went to the store and bought some flowers. Then I headed to the meat department. Later, I realized I forgot to buy bread. So when I read that passage, how, how can you judge the, on how the writer uh, presented these passages? May I ask Leonor? So yeah, thank you Leonor, that's correct. Uh, based from this uh, given passage, it lacks sensory details. So let's read this revised version. So upon entering the grocery store, I headed directly to the flower department where I spotted yellow tulips. As I tenderly rested the tulips in my rusty shopping cart, I caught a whiff of minty dried eucalyptus. So I added the fragrant forest green bouquet of eucalyptus to my cart. While heading for the meat department, I smelled the stench of seafood which made my appetite disappear. So from this revised version, there is a presence or an application of the sensory details. So these are the things that you've seen when I read this revised version. So you see that yellow tulips, rusty shopping cart, this eucalyptus, and this stench of seafood. Let's have another examples of imagery. Imagery using visual. So in visualizing, what sense organ will you use? You will use your and that's correct, and so you will use your eyes. Let's have this given example. The night was black as ever, but bright stars lit up the sky in beautiful and varied constellation which were sprinkled across the astronomical landscape. So this is the image that you've seen. Next, imagery using sound. So what sense organ will you use in hearing? You will use your ears. So let's have this given example. Silence was broken by the peal of piano keys as Shannon began practicing her concerto. So you've seen an image of someone playing a piano. So you hear her playing the piano. Next is imagery using scent. She smelled the scent of sweet hibiscus wafting through the air. Its tropical smell, a, wide, a reminder that she was on vacation in a beautiful place. So this is the image that you've seen, a uh, sweet hibiscus wafting. So you smell how fragrant it is. Next is imagery using taste. So in tasting, what scents organ will you use? It's your tongue. So I, the, let's read this given example. The candy melted in her mouth and swirls of bittersweet chocolate and slightly sweet but salty caramel blended together on her tongue. So this is the image that you can see in the passage. It's the a candy and a chocolate. And based from the given statement, there is a description in there. The descriptive words are slightly sweet and but salty. Then next, 
type of imagery is imagery using touch. So in touching, what body parts will you use in touching? May I ask? Rens? So yeah, that's correct, Rens. So you will use your hands in touching. After the long run, he collapsed in the, in the grass with tired and burning muscles. The grass tickled his skin and sweat cooled on his brow. So this is the illustration that you will see in the passage. So you will really feel of how exhausted the character is. So from the discussion that I've made, let's practice if you have fully understand the topic. So I will group you into five groups to have a collaborative uh, intellectual effort in answering this activity. So write down all the words or adjectives you can think that appeals to the senses. One point will be given for appropriate word written. I will give you 10 minutes to accomplish this task. Time's up. So may I present? May I request group one to present your uh, task? Two, three, four, five. So all your uh, presentation is were, were so correct and accurate. It comes to show that you have understood uh, the topic that I have presented. So let's clap our hands for a job well done. That's a nice start. So in order for me to guarantee that you have fully grasped the topic or lesson, let's have an enrichment activity. This is, uh, let's elevate our comprehension. For your learning task, write the sensory details that you can come up with the picture below. This is now an individual work. Then for evaluation, please do this third activity. So write an essay about the picture in activity two and insert all the sensory details you wrote in the table. So this is wrapping up the, the previous task that you've accomplished. So here is the rubrics in that essay writing. So please don't forget to apply sensory details. So we're done with that activity. So let's wrap things up. So from our lesson for this day, what are your realiz realization or reflection upon learning that, uh, that topic? May I ask Glenda? So thank you, Glenda, for that uh, answer of yours. That's. Uh, well appreciated. So as a reminder, in creative writing, sensory details is uh, an important element or literary element in writing so that through this, you will, uh, you will present your paper through a descriptive details. For example, when you are going to write uh, a short story, you will describe or Describe in a vivid manner your character, setting, and different elements of uh, short story making. Then for your assignment, I want you to go over with your essay and then uh, develop it. And make sure that you have applied sensory details on your essay composition. So that is your assignment to develop your essay. And then I will check that tomorrow. Please stand for the closing prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So that ends my teaching demonstration. Thank you, my dear panelists.